All right, so in class today, I told you I'd post a video explaining where the lateral area formula comes from for a uh, cone. And we said the lateral area equals pi times the radius, which I'm going to try to do in pink, times the slant height, which I'm going to do in blue. Over here, <clears throat> I have uh, a cone. And if I was to unfold this cone and just kind of lay it out flat, I'd get a perfect circle. I know my drawing doesn't look like a perfect circle, but I'd get a perfect circle here with a radius r. And then I'd get um, a sector of a circle or a portion of a circle. Um, the cone wouldn't be a whole circle, but it would be a portion of one. And I don't know much about what's going on here, but I do know that when I wrap this cone around this circle that this blue distance here is the exact same as the circumference of this circle, right? It would have to be to fit perfectly around it. So if this distance here is the circumference, we could say that this is two pi r. And I'm using it in pink because really it's the circumference of this circle. Well, I also know that the fraction that this circle or this sector is of this whole circle is gonna be equal to the fraction that this this um, part or this arc length you could say is to the whole thing. So what is that fraction? Well, if I wanted to, I could say, you know what? Two pi r is to the circumference of this whole thing, which would be the circumference of the big thing would be two pi l, two pi l as my lateral area that I'm interested in finding is to the area of the whole thing. So, so this is a ratio, the ratio of this circumference or this length here to the whole circumference is going to be equal to my lateral area and we could kind of just like <coughs> lateral area to whatever the area of this whole circle is okay well the area of this whole circle is really easy because I have the slant height here when I unfold it that becomes the radius of my bigger circle and so I could say well you know what that's just pi l squared well, right away, hopefully, you can see that we get some things that cancel out, right? This 2 will cancel out. This pi will cancel out. And we get r over l equals my lateral area over pi l squared. <clears throat> well, remember, I'm really just interested in finding out what l is. So I just want to solve for l. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by pi l squared pi l squared. That would make these things cancel out, so I get my lateral area all by itself. And what do I have? Whenever I multiply, it goes on top, right? So I really have a pi l squared times r on top, and on bottom, I have an l. Well, everything's just being multiplied here and or dividing. So I have an l squared divided by an l. Well, those, can, those guys cancel out. And so what am I left with? Well, a pi and L and R, pi, L and an R. So if I just rearrange the order, I get what I had before, which is pi, R, L. And that's how we find the lateral area of a cone.